make a heart design inspired by the famous artist Jason Naylor. Here's a picture of Jason Naylor in front of one of his famous heart murals. Here's a digital artwork by the artist Jason Naylor. And over here, the bigger picture is a picture of our project. So Jason Naylor is an artist who is famous for his bright, large murals that express love and positivity. He also makes digital art on the computer as a graphic designer. He currently lives in New York City. How does Jason Naylor's artwork make you feel? Let's learn a little more about the message behind his art. These are two examples of Jason Naylor's murals. The one on the left says, love comes in every color. And the one on the right says, love. They both have bright colors with a black background. Jason Naylor's artwork is made up of bright colors contrasted by black and shows messages of love, hope, and positivity. He believes that being kind is the most important thing in life and tries to communicate that through his artwork. He is considered a street artist because of the large scale murals that he paints in public places. Jason Naylor also designs illustrations and digital artworks. He has worked with many popular companies like Pepsi, Xbox, and the Discovery Channel. Jason Naylor was named one of the 100 most inspiring New Yorkers for his upbeat and colorful murals that brighten up the city's busy urban streets. His mission in life is to spread love and positivity through sharing his art with the world. His optimistic attitude, humility, confidence, and love for life is shown through the use of hearts, bright, vibrant colors, and encouraging words, which are seen throughout his work. Let's go over the directions for our project. For your supplies, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and bright coloring materials. I had some neon markers that worked really well for mine, but you can use any supply that you like. You will also need something that is black, like your black marker, to color in your background. First, we'll start by drawing our heart. You need to draw at least two hearts on your paper. On my paper, it looks like I have one. Look at the middle of my heart. I have another heart inside of my heart. So that is an option for drawing two hearts on your paper. Or you could draw them apart from each other. Then we'll draw sections and line designs inside our hearts using some different types of lines that Jason Naylor uses in his artwork, like drippy lines, curved lines, and dashed lines after outline with a black marker. Then you can color in your hearts with bright colors and color your background black to show contrast. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, you'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker that you can outline with, and some coloring materials. For our hearts, try to pick out really bright colors anything that you have that's bright. I have all these brightly colored markers. You could use crayons, you could use paint, you could use oil pastel, whatever you like. Jason Naylor's work is known for having really bright, almost neon colors. So any kind of bright colors that you have, that would be great for this project. Then you will need something black to color in your background. Jason Naylor's work is often shown with a black background. I have this thicker Sharpie that I will be using for my background, but you could use a crayon, a colored pencil, paint, whatever you like. So to start, you should draw with a pencil first and then outline with your black marker. For the video, I will be drawing with my Sharpie so that you can really see it on camera. We're going to start by drawing a heart in the middle of our paper. It can be turned a little bit at an angle just to add a little bit of variety. Our heart should take up most of our paper and be bigger than our hand. So here's how you can draw a heart. I'm sure you've drawn a heart before, but here's my trick for drawing it neatly. We're gonna put a little dot in the middle where the two curves will be. Then we're going to draw those two curves one at a time. 
and they're like a big rainbow line. So I'm practicing with my finger before I draw it, and my curve is gonna go up and down. Now I'm gonna stop there for right now and draw the other one. So again, it's like a big rainbow line. I'm gonna start here and come over. Now I have the top of my heart drawn. Then we're going to draw the sides of the heart. I'm going to look at where that center is and go down to as far as I want the heart to go. I'm gonna put a little dot there and now I'm going to connect this line to the dot and this line to the dot to make the two sides of the heart. One. And two. Now I have my heart shape. You might want to practice this a couple times with pencil on the back of your paper. Jason Naylor's hearts usually have a heart in the middle as well. So I'm going to draw a heart in the middle of this heart shape using that same method for drawing a heart. One, two, there are my two curves. Then I'm gonna put the dot down at the bottom and draw the sides of the heart. Awesome. Now let's add some designs like we see in Jason Naylor's work. One line that we see a lot is a drippy line, a line that resembles dripping paint. We see that inside the heart and often on the edges. Here's how you can draw it. So you're gonna draw a curvy line that goes up and down. Try to make some of the drips longer, some of them shorter. So I'm gonna draw one all the way down this side and I'm trying to make the drips at different lengths. Then I'm going to draw a couple drips on this side I'm also going to draw some drippy lines on the inside of the heart too, and on the inside of the heart in the middle. So here, let's do one here. And if your lines are not in the same place as mine, that's totally fine. You can put these on a different side or up on the top instead of the bottom. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna put a drippy line on the inside here. Another line that we see in Jason Naylor's hearts is curved lines. So here on the top, I'm going to add some curved lines that add to the shape of the heart. It's going to give us the illusion or the look that the heart is round by adding these curves. You could come up with some different lines or shapes to fill in your heart. I'll also add a curve here. Maybe I'll do a double curved line and some down here. You just wanna fill in a little bit of design around your heart. This will make it more interesting as you go to color it in. I also went ahead and added a dashed line. And over here, I'm doing some straight lines. And then another dashed line. One other kind of line that we see in Jason Naylor's work is a very squiggly, curvy line. Kind of looks like a drippy line, but this is on the inside of the heart and it's repeated a couple times. So this is more of a squiggly line. I'm gonna do the squiggly line over here. And then let's add some designs around the heart. So we often see words in Jason Naylor's work. I'm going to write the word love because we know he tries to communicate love, hope, and happiness to the world through his brightly colored works of art. 
We also see some shapes that are on the outside of the heart sometimes. And these kind of look like little blobs of paint or blobs of color. So you could start with a curvy line and then make another curve. There's not really a right or wrong way to do this, but I will end up filling that in with color. Sometimes they're even long and skinny and they really stand out on a black background that we'll add later. Awesome. Now I've drawn my Jason Naylor heart design. Remember that you are probably drawing with a pencil, so now you should outline with a black marker. Once you've outlined, then you can take an eraser and erase all the extra pencil lines that you don't need to make your artwork look neater. All right, now I'm ready to add color to my Jason Naylor heart. Remember that bright colors work best for this. We're going to try to use some contrast with the colors that we use today. So I'm coloring in each section that I've made by drawing my lines separately. So this is all going to be pink. Then when I move on to this section, it will be a different color. So I'm not going to put pink right next to pink. I'm going to choose a different color to color in that section. And that's called using contrast because we're placing different colors next to each other so that all the colors have a chance to stand out. So now I'm going to choose orange. And when I'm coloring in, it's good to outline the section that you're coloring so that you don't end up going over the lines. So I'm giving this an orange outline on the inside. And then I'm just gonna fill that in with lines. If I color with my marker in one direction, the coloring will end up looking much neater than if I went back and forth, it might look a little bit scribbly. heart is all colored in, I'm ready to color in my background. Now remember, Jason Naylor often paints on black walls. So I'm going to color in the white parts of my artwork black with this large black marker. Now I'm using a Sharpie, but for whatever black art supply that you're using, make sure you put something underneath your paper so that you don't get the black on the surface that you're working on. So I put my messy mat underneath and that way I can protect my table. So I'm going to start by making an outline around the heart and all of the shapes that I drew on the outside. This is gonna help me color in my background neatly without getting black on the colorful parts of the heart that I don't want black on. So I'm doing an outline and I'm gonna go all the way around and then I will fill in with my color. and outlined all of the edges with my black marker, which makes it a lot easier to color in my background without worrying about going over the lines and getting black on my heart. Notice that when I'm coloring, I'm going onto my messy mat with my black marker. If you have a scratch piece of paper or anything that you can put underneath your artwork and do this, then it makes it a lot easier to color all the way to the edge of the paper. Wow. 
Okay, so I am all done with my Jason Naylor heart design. I hope you had fun today learning about the famous artist Jason Naylor and learning how to draw a heart in his style using different types of lines to decorate it with bright colors and a black background. I can't wait to see what you create. Have fun, artist! <laughs>